right, guys, so we are on our last activity for lesson one today for chapter three, and we're going to be visualizing landforms from above. So we've been visualizing what a place might look like from above, and we're going to continue to practice describing landforms and what they might look like from a bird's eye view. And a bird's eye view is just another word for looking at it from higher up, kind of like in the picture that we see over here to the left. Okay. So we're going to imagine that we're flying high above each of these three different places. So in photo A, it looks like it's some sort of a valley with maybe a river in the middle. Photo B looks like something I might see at the beach. And then photo C looks like the mountains, maybe something that we could even see at Rocky Mountain National Park, which is in Colorado. So take a minute to just imagine flying above each of these places and what a map might look like. So if I were looking down at this place from far above, I would see that there's some low land and some water. I know it's low land because I don't see any mountains or any big hills here. Um, and then I can see the water, which is running directly through the middle of the two. So I would see low land on both sides of the water. And again, like I just said, I do not see any high land here. So I want you guys to take a second to pause this video and I want you to visualize looking down at the place in photo B, thinking about what I was just thinking about. So looking for, is there high land that we see? Is there water? Is it low land? Um, so go ahead and pause the video and just get an image of your head of what this might look like from above. Okay, we're gonna do the same thing with this photo. So we're gonna visualize looking down at the place in photo C. Again, thinking about do we see highland, do we see very highland, do we see lowland, water, and so on. So next we're going to look at the landform photos we just saw along with some of the maps and think about how to figure out which map matches each photo. So first we're going to talk about which map matches photo A, which was the first one that I talked about. Okay, so photo A we see in this left corner over here. And remember that some things I'm looking out for is I see there are two areas of low land and there's water running through the middle. So when I look at the picture of map one, um, I do see water and I do see low land, but remember that photo A, there's low land on both sides. So I know that map one cannot go with photo A. When I look at map two, I'm seeing more of that brown shaded area, which remember that that brown shows really high land. And there is not any really high land in photo A, so I know that map two cannot go. So it must be map three. But just to double check, I do see that there's a low land on both sides of the water because I see the green from the map. And I also see that water running through the middle, which matches up with our photo. So I know that photo A matches up with map three. So now you're going to use what you visualize to figure out which map goes with the place in photo B and which map goes with the place in photo C. So go ahead and pause this video and just take a minute to try and match up which one goes with which. And then we'll quickly discuss it together right now. So if I'm looking at photo B, I see that there's water. And I'm noticing that it looks like it's mostly low land around the water. I don't see any hills. I don't see any mountains. So when I look at my two maps, I can see the water right here. And I also see the green that's showing low land. So I know that photo B and map one match up. So let me just double check that photo C and map two match up. So again, photo C, I'm going to be looking for high land because I can see those mountains in the background. So actually very high land. If I look at map two, I can see that there's a lot of very high land because I can see the brown around it. So I know that photo C is also going to match up with map two. So our key concept from today is that maps show where water and land are and where different landforms are. All right, and I look forward to seeing you guys back here for lesson two.